I sold a purse. If you want to know how, then you need to stay tuned for this upcoming video. First step in selling a purse, you've got to figure out where you're going to sell it. And I am currently on Mercari. And that is one option to sell. And you go to my listings right there. And you can see I have listed uh, a few different items right there. And the next is if you want to add a new listing, you click on that up at the top. And it will tell you to upload your photos. And then you'll need a title of what kind of purse it is. Describe, you know, the condition. Um, and then pick your category if it's a handbag. And then what kind of, yeah, new, like new, fair. And then there's delivery options. You can do local on Mercari or you can ship. UPS is what I usually pick. And then there's where you'll set your price. And then you'll just list. And all this can be done um, on your cell phone as well. Next is Poshmark, because I do sell a lot on Poshmark as well. And so we're getting into my account right now. And then this is my listings. Same listings, I double list. I just sold that Parker, which that is what we're shipping up today. Um, I just never grabbed it, so I decided I wanted to sell it because I'm not using it. So those are some pictures that I put on. You make sure you get the inside, the outside, the bottom, everything that you have um, that you're listing you want a picture of, even the tags. So that item sold, and that's what we're going to ship up to head out to the post office. This Poshmark uh, uses USPS. So there's the the sold item. And then what you do is you just, if you don't have a printer, you have this QR code and you just take it to one of your local USPS and they'll scan it and they'll print out the label right there for you. So there again, there's my Poshmark listings and then how this is how you upload to Poshmark you add photos again you add your title your description with the size your category is it a handbag you click that you always click quantity even though it's one size one size is it new or is it not and then you'll want the brand which was coach and um, then the color and if you know the style, you can add the style. And if you know the original price, you can put that. Um, you can also do discounted shipping um, on the site. And then there's for sale. And then you'll hit next. Um, and then that'll upload your listing. So next, I'm showing you the bag that I sold. Like I told you, it was the Coach Parker and that Signature C. It's a beautiful bag. I just never reached for it. It has that snakeskin detail with the rivets. It's really nice. I barely used it. Um, and I didn't pay an astronomical amount for it. So I actually made a little bit of money on this. Not a lot because I don't like to do that to people. Um, so yeah, it has that cranberry looking interior. And it even had the tags when I bought it secondhand. So everything goes with it, and just showing you a little bit of the detail of it. So now that you've checked everything out, make sure you don't leave money inside, you know, everything that you said on the listing is packed up in your box, and I always recycle my boxes, as you can tell. That's a label that, it may have been a coach box, I don't really know, but it's the perfect size. Um, yeah. It's already taped up on the bottom. So yeah, just make sure all your labels are taken off. 
and it looks like it's in good condition not ripped anywhere so see if it fits and of course it does so the next step would be you know wrapping up your putting your packaging on your bag because people pay money for your goods you need to package them with care so this is again I use recycled bubble air or I think this actually was on my coach rogues so I'm like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna use that to protect the bag so here I'm just showing you I got it wrapped and then I'm gonna tape that and then tape it and then it's almost done so you still have the sides peeking out but don't worry there will still be more wrapping so I decided to use my clear coach bag also um, to put it inside in case it rains and water gets through that box nothing's getting to this bag I always protect my packages and I have excellent ratings on Poshmark and Mercari for packaging so wrap it up nice it doesn't matter that the labels there <laughs> I just decided to leave it on who cares <laughs> it's not that bag but hey it's protected right so I'm done wrapping the plastic ready to go all wrapped up Next, we'll bring back the box, get it situated here, and the next step, I'm going to add the bubble wrap to the bottom, and it fits perfectly. Just more cushion, I just want to make sure that the, the purse doesn't get damaged. So I add it to, and it's, the box is a little bit big, so how I <clears throat> make sure that it stays put, I start adding the stuffing to each side and corner to make sure it doesn't move. And it'll fill all that gap. Because you do not want to ding up a bag and then have it returned to you. So always package carefully. So that's the last piece, I believe. And then finally, I put another protective layer on. You may say I've gone a little overboard, but hey, I get good ratings. I have quick sales, and my purses are typically in really good condition, so... I want to keep them that way for the next owner. So that is my final. Oh, I added one more piece. So now you're ready to tape it up. Make sure all your flaps are connected. There's no gaps in the box either. So here's my packing tape. And I think I put at least two or three layers of tape on the box as well. Plus a lot of my packages go across the country. I think this one actually went to, I want to say North Carolina. Um, my last one went to California which is quite a distance so I want to make sure that everything is packaged nicely for because it's a long transit <laughs> I really hope this is helpful um, in if you want to sell a bag or any items that you know SLGs Mercari you can sell a lot of different items um, there's a lot of categories but Primarily, I sell handbags um, because, well, we know that I purchase and then I resell. <laughs>
If I don't use a bag for a while, then that means it's on the chopping block. There's a reason why I didn't pick it up. So there I'm checking the tape one more time, seeing if I need to tape up any more areas. And make sure that tape on the bottom is okay. So now it is ready to go. So we are heading to the USPS post office where I typically go to mail off my bags from Poshmark and just showing you it's in a shopping center but not all post offices will scan that QR code at least in my town. So here I am getting out. It always feels good to make a sale. <laughs> so I appreciate you watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know what you think. If you've sold a bag on Poshmark or Macari, if you've had good experiences or bad, let me know. Um, but yeah, this uh, purchase will be delivered today as of when I'm recording this. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.